Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia says he's going to retire from the department, and this is just months after Dallas fought hard to keep him. He is now leaving the city. We know that. J.D. Miles, live at DPD headquarters. Uh, I know you've talked to your sources at 4 o'clock. I want to hear what they said, uh, but also you just got some news here in the last couple of minutes. What is that? Yeah, Doug, Chief Garcia just sent a memo to all of his 3,000 officers confirming this decision to retire from law enforcement. He says he tried to keep it a secret as long as he could and that the decision came after a lot of careful consideration and reflection. Now, this news will startle those who thought that the recent financial agreement with, between Chief Garcia and the city that included a pay raise and incentives would compel him here to stay a while. But apparently it wasn't enough to keep him from taking the job in Austin only four months after that arrangement. That job in Austin as an assistant city manager will pair him again with former Dallas city manager and current Austin city manager T.C. Broadnax, who hired Garcia in Dallas nearly four years ago. Garcia, in his three and a half years here, has established himself as one of the more popular police chiefs, and the department um, is very much behind him. He's a rising figure in law enforcement. He's popular with the rank and file officers, and he's received credit for reducing violent crime in the city. After he was courted by other cities for their top cop jobs and got his new financial agreement here, Garcia uh, hinted to Doug Dunbar that he would uh, not be here that much longer. We can't hold on to these jobs forever and these positions forever. Um, I love what I do. Um, it's incredibly difficult. It is a grind, a uh, 24 seven grind. Now, for those of you thinking, though, the chief had a new financial deal, it must have been a contract. Well, the city charter prohibits contracts with police chiefs, so there was technically and legally nothing holding him here. Now, near the end of his chief's update, something he sends out to officers, uh, he mentioned today that uh, in his final chief's update that um, he wanted to um, pass along to the officers that he owes them everything and he thanked them for fighting for the city. Back to you. So, J.D., before you go, when we talk about officers, you know, rank and file, and y you hope that your officers believe in you as a leader, which it, it appears he garnered a whole lot of trust. I'm curious on the police association side, because there's a few of them for this department. What are they saying about this today? Mm -hmm. Well, the head of the Dallas Police Association was part of a delegation that went down to Austin, ironically, today for a, a pension hearing with the state. and. They told me, I just spoke to the president of the DPA, they represent 2,700 or so of the 3,000 officers, and he told me that he was totally blindsided by this decision. He has an open line, very good relationship with Chief Garcia, but Jaime Castro says that he had no idea this was coming. Um, he says there's not much that, you know, anyone can do about it. If this is the chief's, uh, you know, personal decision, then he's going to respect that and he can only be uh, grateful for the time he was here and, in his words, putting DPD back on the right track. J.D. Miles in Dallas with late-breaking information on this big story. J.D., thanks. And uh, talk about commentary. Last half hour, we got in touch with Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson. I can share with you a statement he has now released. Quote, we are fortunate to have had a capable, committed, experienced, and innovative police chief these last three and a half years. We wish him the best of luck on his next journey. The words of the mayor in Dallas.